screaming out shift all of the people. I can still stand there in the room. I should not be left to my own devices. They come with prices and vices. I end up in crisis. Dad has all its time. I wake up screaming from dreaming. One day I'll watch as you're leaving. Cause life will lose all its meaning. For the last time, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. At tea time, everybody agrees. I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting always, reading for the air to hear. Do -do 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 Sometimes I feel like you're the body of a sexy barber, and I'm a monster on the hill. <laughs> Too big to hang out, slowly lurching towards your favorite city. Pins through the heart, but never killed. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my tiny corner of YouTube. I'm the Modest Estate, and here on my channel, I do cashless cash stuffing videos using the zero based budgeting method. In today's video, I'm going to be unstuffing my expenses for the second week of December. If that's something that you're interested in hanging around for, let's get this party started. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Comfort narcissism, my disguise is altruism, like some kind of congressman. <laughs> I've had that song stuck in my head all morning and I don't know why. Anyway, sorry <laughs> for the little jingle. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me, spending your precious time with me. Hello to all of my return subscribers. Hello to my new subscribers. It's so lovely to have you here. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know that in this week's video, we're going to be unstuffing my expenses, uh, my digital expenses for the last week. I am a digital cashless cash stuffer. I use prop money in replace of um, actual cash to keep all of my funds digital, but still have a visual representation of all where all of my money is sitting. So without further ado and no more tay tay, let's get started. <laughs> We've got a fair bit to unstuff today. I have tried to go through and make it uh, a little bit easier, uh, but I actually just got back from um, taking my son for a haircut and doing some more shopping. So we're going to have to squeeze those in at the end. So first off we're going to start off with is i tallied up my grocery amount for the last week we spent 306 dollars and 16 cents in groceries whoops sorry about that got distracted by the postie <laughs> well not the postie we actually had the courier just deliver my mother's new massage chair which i am super super excited about um, I do have to wait until Christmas is over before I can set up the massage chair because it's going in the corner of the lounge where the Christmas tree is going. So I'm so excited for that massage chair. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get it through the front door. We might have to take it through the gate and out the sliding doors on the alfresco. Um, but that's for my husband to worry about now <laughs> All right, let's get started. So I've done my usual tally up where we were going for the groceries first. So over to high priority variable expenses. I hope you are all doing well, whatever part of the world that you are in or whichever part of Australia. Um, I know that our friends over in Sydney are sweltering at the moment. I heard that there's been a number of days in the 40 degree mark. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but that is extremely hot. Um, so I'm feeling for my friends over in Sydney. Where I am at the moment, um, it's not cold, but it's foggy and it's raining. So we get all sorts of weather here in Australia. Um, but from what I saw on the radar, I'm going to be getting hot weather myself tomorrow. So it's only a matter of time before the Sydney weather comes on over to the other states so I hope you're all doing well all right so groceries we spent a total of three hundred and six dollars and sixteen cents so 250 300 three how am I gonna do this because uh, my math's bad guys <laughs> 50 take away let's round that up to seven dollars forty three Three. Right. Forty one, two, three. 
Oh, beautiful calculator. What would I do without you? <laughs> I actually want to go get the um the calculator that um, Katie over at the Fancy Dollar uses because uh, every time I hear that calculator click, it soothes my soul. I love it. Um, I don't think that was in camera, was it? Oh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't have much room here with this setup. Let me see. Let's see if I can fix this. That's a bit better. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, I want to go get that clickety um, calculator, so we will see if I do or not. Um, so let's unstuff all of these groceries. Unstuff do. Groceries, groceries, groceries. So that leaves me 250, 270, 290, 91, 92, 93, 293. And then I actually just got home from doing this week's grocery shop. So we spent 256. 26 at Aldi and we spent $41.55 at Woolies. So that comes to $297.81. $257.81. $297.81. Oh my gosh, my maths is so bad right now. Three four five six seven eight so we're going to take five dollars from my os envelope because we've gone over budget by five dollars which is okay that is what the os envelope is for where are you oh man i hope i calculated that right on my fingers <laughs> oh, i guess i'll find out when i balance it later um, so I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me move this up. So groceries is unstuffed. Just double check. <sighs> Unstuffing videos are always very hard for me because I don't have much room to work with on my setup. <laughs> so it's always a little bit more chaotic than usual. <laughs> Next up is birthdays. So it was my hubby's birthday the other week. I spent $3 on a card for him. Oh, it was the funniest card. Um, I'll see if I can insert a picture of it here. If I can figure it out. But it was a funny card, especially for a Star Wars fan. Um, so put back five, bring back two. That leaves me one fifth. 60, 162 in birthdays. I shouldn't be mean. My husband is not an old fart. He's only 35. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Christmas, we'll come back to that. Pet insurance, we'll come back to that. Lunch orders is in this binder. So let's continue. Lunch orders, we spent $10.29 for my sweetie. So let us round that down, I think, to $10. I, my buffer can eat that. Where is... Here we are, lunch orders. So it leaves me $15 in lunch orders. Uh, she finishes school this week, actually, so I might not even stuff that next fortnight. We will see. Takeaway is not in this binder. We'll come back to that. Petrol. So scrolling all the way down here, in total we spent $202.51 in petrol. So we got one, two, three, four. We got 400 here. Take away. Oh, a trusty calculator. Take away. Let's round that up to $203. I don't know if you can see this. Oops. $202.51, so let's round that up to 203 So I need $197 back, if my calculator is correct, which I'm sure it is. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 6, 7. Hopefully I have some petrol rollover. To go into my OS envelope at the end of the week. So it's petrol unstuffed. Oh, 
that's it petrol 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 all right next up takeaways in the next binder good deeds is in the next binder next binder subscriptions so netflix came out that was 23 dollars subscriptions i contemplated letting my netflix subscription lapse it is taking forever for season three of Bridgerton to come out. I am a big Bridgerton fan. I am not happy that we've had to wait over two years for this season. Not happy. <laughs> if you're a Bridgerton fan, let me know in the comments because um, oh, I cannot believe how long we've been waiting. 25, 26, 27. I actually read the books before Bridgerton came out, so I know who all of the love interests are um, and a general idea of the storylines. I'm still pretty upset with what they did with the B scene in Kate and Anthony's season. I preferred how that worked out in the books, um, but I guess they couldn't keep forcing people into marriages together just for the sake of the storyline. But I'm so excited for Pollen. I cannot wait to see um, Colin and Penelope's season. So hurry up, Netflix, before I cut my, um, my subscription. <laughs> Where was it? Netflix, Netflix subscription. So it was 23 unstuffed. Miscellaneous, we dug into a fair bit. So my hubby got... KFC, which was $19.75. Um, then I got Baker's Delight for the kiddos after swimming on Saturday. And I got sushi for myself because we emptied the takeaway one getting birthday dinner for my hubby's birthday. Um, and then I've already worked out when we bought Tats Lotto as well. We didn't quite have enough, so I also took $4 from Tats Lotto. So that comes up to $45.23. So let's make that $46 to keep my buffer. Where are we? Miscellaneous. Uh, what did I say? Six, yeah. One, two, three, four. I can't, I'm a bit annoyed at Shondaland for how long she's making us wait um, for season three, back to Bridgerton. Um, but I fully intend on taking a day of annual leave <laughs> when it comes out. Um, and I'm going to pull an all-nighter and have a Bridgerton watch party. So... <laughs> I love my Bridgerton. Um, where were we? Miscellaneous is unstuffed. Miscellaneous. Uh, so next up from this envelope, this envelope, this binder, I spent $28.86 on some plants at Bunnings. I had nothing in the plants envelope, so this came out of my spending money. I went to Bunnings to go get plants um, for my children's teachers and allied health therapists um, and got distracted and bought some for myself too apparently so $28.86 um, I also we didn't have enough for man shakes when my husband ordered this morning so I donated $40 of my spending money to his man shakes because I'm a good wifey so $68.86 was spent from my hers envelope. So let's make that $69. Oh, there goes the doorbell again. 100 take away 69 There goes the weenie. Bless her heart. She still thinks she's a guard dog. 20 30 35 36 So I've got 36 left in my hers envelope. Um, I said to my husband, why can't you just wait until next week um, when I'm stuffing again for the next fortnight to get your man shakes? But he said that if he orders them this morning, that they will actually arrive by the end of the week and then he doesn't have to go buy lunch. Um, so I thought donating some of my <laughs> spending money was far cheaper than him going and buying himself lunch while he's at work. So that was my reasoning for that. 
that. Uh, gifts is in the next one. Haircuts. I took my son to the barber just before filming. That was $20.20. So let's round that down to 20 2020 because his hair grows like it's on steroids we are constantly taking him to the barber luckily it is only down the road so that's haircuts stuffed man shakes was unstuffed I forgot to tick that and then I spent $57.98 on my own medications so let's round that up to $58 how much have we got? 50, 58, so that leaves 110, 130, 132 in medications. Gosh, the lighting is terrible today, but if I turn on any lights, there will be shadows. So I think we'll just try work with the poor lighting today. And here is a yeet for all of my yeeting friends. Yeet! <laughs> I dedicate that one to you guys. <laughs> um, let's continue in low priority variable just while we're in the variable binders. So what are we taking out next? Because we're not going in order. Takeaway. So we spent $21 on sushi. And my hubby got a pizza for himself for his birthday, and that was $31. But I didn't have enough. Yeah. So I took out $2 from groceries by the looks of things. I tell you what, doing it this method, I'm, it really, really helps because I'm so visual. So I already knew that I was short and knew that I would have to take some from another envelope. So... That is one of the reasons why I really, really enjoy this method. Um, a lot of people have asked, how do I keep track of how much I've got? And it's just because I'm a very visual person. I don't have to take it out at the time to be able to track how much I've got left in it. So that, I don't know how it works well for me, but it does. I'll take it. So I take $50 from takeaway. It leaves takeaway empty. And yeah, I um, calculated the $2 to take from the groceries. Technically, I should have put that in miscellaneous. Uh, should I put it back? Nah, you know what? Nah. Uh, nah, I'll just take it from groceries. <laughs> Uh, what else is from here? Good Deeds. I did a donation on behalf of my grandmother's um, birthday last week uh, bless her heart she's not here anymore but every year on her birthday we do a donation to the temple and the monastery in her name and we donated a total of $70 that's a gifts envelope what am I doing where are we good deeds strange to think she's been gone for six years now it certainly doesn't feel like it my um my grandmother helped my mum raise me and my brother when my dad died when I was six years old. So I was very, very close to my grandma. So, yeah, that, she's gone, but she's never forgotten. Um, gosh, we are complete. I really should group these in order. Uh, Christmas is not in this binder. Gifts is in this binder. So, yeah, at Bunnings we spent a total of $43.92 on plant presents. So let's round that up to $44. Where are we? $44. $44. So that leaves me with $11, i am pretty sure, if I've calculated that right. We will find out when I balance that later. And Tats Lotto, we spent $17.50. I only had $14 in the envelope, if I remember right. So we took the additional four from Miscellaneous. So I've got to unstuff $14 from Tats Lotto. 
I can already tell you now we did not win because <laughs> I think it was the Saturday draw that um, we bought that for. <laughs> but you got to be in it to win it, I always say. <laughs> Next up is dining out. I spent for myself a total of $84.26 at Teppanyaki. We're going to round that up to $85. My goodness, that was an experience and it was a hilarious experience. If you ever get the chance to go to Teppanyaki, do it. Uh, we had so much food thrown at us um, that I came home and when I was emptying my handbag, I found pieces of egg in um, my handbag. <laughs> It's a lot of fun if you don't know what teppanyaki is. It's like it's a Japanese grill where they um they have the grill in front of you so you sit on a table around the grill and the chef cooks it in front of you. And part of the fun of teppanyaki is that the chef does tricks. So they'll throw eggs and they'll catch them with their chef hats um or they'll fling pieces of food at you to catch in your mouth. Um at one point cuz I was I was the only one out of my um, uni girlfriends who had been to Teppanyaki and I kept asking the chef for some tricks. Um, so I was the one that got uh, received the, um, the most messy trick where basically he rolled up a whole egg omelette, sliced it and flung each piece of the omelette at me. And it was the most hilarious experience. We were in absolute stitches. And then we had bowls thrown at us too and we had to try catch the balls it it was an experience if you guys ever have the chance it is a little bit pricey uh, but the entertainment is wonderful me and my uni girlfriends have decided every time we catch up which is maybe once a year we are doing teppanyaki from now on um certainly thinking of um asking my husband to arrange um for my birthday next year just as a birthday present to take me to teppanyaki i think in America, the US, um, Benny Hanna might be teppanyaki. I've heard one of my favorite YouTubers mention Benny Hanna. So if you're overseas and you know Benny Hanna, then you'll know what teppanyaki is. Oh, but my goodness, I could go on about it forever. It was so good. Our chef was very funny too because um, he delivered all of his jokes um, deadpan and that added to the hilarity of it. So. <laughs> I wish I could show um, video of um, all the tricks that were happening, but it shows too many faces, so I can't. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? I spent $85, so, oh gosh, maths here. Yeah. 100 takeaway, 85 is 15, worth every single dollar. And, of course, it was delicious, absolutely delicious. We got a mix of seafood. Um, we didn't get anything raw. There's no point getting anything raw at Tebanyaki. Um, but we got a mix of seafood, karage, chicken, salads, and ended it with black sesame um, flavoured ice cream. It was delicious. Highly, highly recommend. Anyway, enough about Tebanyaki. Where is it on my list? <laughs> Tebanyaki. So that was dining out. Uh, um, I don't think I need anything else from this. Binder, Christmas pet insurance, her work expenses, Christmas assistive tech, Christmas. I spent a lot on Christmas last week. No, that's it from this binder. <sighs> oh, it was it was the best. Really enjoyed that. It got to the point actually where um I needed my Ventolin. <laughs> Whoop, frisbee that. Um I needed my Ventolin. <laughs> Because I was laughing so hard. Uh, it's so good. Anyway, moving over to my fixed expenses binder. So from this binder, we are taking out pet insurance, which was $12.91 for my weenie. And her work expenses, my union fees, which was $25. I think that's all we're taking out. Um... Where are we? Her work expenses. Let's start off with you. $25 out, leaving me with $140. Of course, I've taken other things out of this binder in the last week, but some of my envelopes I do keep private. 
um, just because they they go into a little bit more of my personal life that I'm not quite comfortable sharing. Um, so I have actually spent a fair bit from this binder. I just can't show it. Um, and pet insurance was $13 because we're rounding that up, which leaves my pet insurance envelope empty. <sighs> what have we got left? Christmas and assistive tech is really all that's left. Oh, I forgot to tick off miscellaneous here. So Christmas, I have spent a whopper in the last week, an absolute whopper. Finishing up presents. Um, I organized yoke, some hampers to be sent to my in-laws and my husband's um, grandma and granddad. So we've spent a fair bit. I also ended up getting um, visual aid cards for my son to start school next year. Um, we sold something on Facebook Marketplace, actually, so I was able to put the sale from that into assistive tech. I hear footsteps. Did it? Oh. Have you finished your reading eggs? Well, I didn't go for eggs, but I can't do this part. Oh, you need more time. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me give you some more time. Had to give my boy more iPad time so that I could be left alone to film in peace. <laughs> Where was I? Um, yeah, we did a Facebook um, market sale the other day because um, I needed to get those assistive tech cards. So I popped that into the assistive tech envelope. So school cards was $101.95. Um, so we're going to round that up to $102. What have we got? We've got $110, $115, $116. I really shouldn't have to calculate this in my head. That will leave $14. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four. I hope. My goodness, could you imagine? <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm sure that leaves $14. We will find out when I balance my binders a little bit later. Assistive tech. And yeah, so Christmas, we I spent $44 on chocolates uh, for my immediate family. Uh, I spent $168.50 on hampers to be sent over to New South Wales. That was expensive. I ordered a cheesecake for Christmas um, Day dessert. So I'll pick that up on Christmas Eve from my local Ferguson player. Um, I was buying some Christmas presents for my besties children. Her daughter just had her ears pierced. So I spent $43.95 at Prouds. And then Big W, I got some stuff for her youngest. Um, so in total, I spent in the last week a whopping $326.95 from Christmas. Let's see if I have that amount in there. <laughs> We've got 250, 350, 400, 410, 415, 416. So 416 take away 327. Let's round that up to 327. That leaves me with $89 in Christmas. Thank goodness I have not depleted that. Because still got things to pay for. 80, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 80, 60, 70, 80, 89. Um, I'm probably not actually going to have a chance to go to Costco with my friend prior to Christmas. So if I need more money to pay for Christmas um, dinner contributions and stuff, I am just going to take it from the Costco envelope, I think. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Beautiful. Uh, that is everything and stuffed. Fantastic. Hopefully that was a quick unstuffing. When I go back to edit, we'll find out. <laughs> In between my um, 
Bridgerton and Teppanyaki um, tirade. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too long. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for spending your precious time with me. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe. It looks like, um, and I've seen when I've been going to the shops lately doing my groceries, that groceries prices have come down a little bit. Um, I have heard that the government is doing an inquiry into the prices of Woolies and Coles, possibly Aldi, I'm not sure. Um, so they are going through and reducing prices at the moment, probably to make them look less guilty. Um, and that's certainly translating into our grocery bill. And petrol prices are quite nice at the moment too. So fingers crossed they stay like that for the foreseeable future. Not looking forward to February next year when I'm sure the next interest rate is coming. A lot of us are going to be in um, mortgage stress for sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. One more yeet dedicated to my yeet lovers. Here you go, guys. <laughs> yeet! <laughs> See you next time.